Welcome back to JMC Live. That was the mosque field trip that you guys got to listen to for the last 10 minutes. Um, kind of interesting um, clip there. Wondering exactly uh, how those kids got involved with what they were involved in. And the fact that these teachers didn't stop. Um, why weren't parents concerned about prayer? And here's the thing. Being a Christian... If they had a Christian uh, event to go to a cathedral for a mass, how wouldn't this have been in the news before they ever went on the trip? Why is it other religions have more freedoms than Christianity is my first question. My second question is, why are there teachers not doing the job? Because in the clip... The, the the children, the the women, they were all women. The teachers and the chaperones were all women. The women were told you cannot go over to the prayer because you're women. So all these children, both boys and girls, were taken over here. And because women have a less role, the girls were not allowed to directly pray. But there were girls over there and they coerced these little boys to pray with them. These were like kids, like little 8, 9, 10, 11 year olds. My question is, the chaperone is not completely responsible for protection of these children. It's the teachers. So where are the parents being concerned about how much freedom do little children have on a field trip? My thing is, it this just came out like today. Fox News just posted today that the school has now officially apologized to the parents. But this happened like four months ago. Why is the school just now apologizing? Because it didn't become such an issue. That's why they're not apologizing. It should have been an issue from day one when it was brought to them. But, you know, my whole thing is <clears throat> they can take children to this mosque, but a, a, a high school, we, we wrote about that high school uh, a few months ago that wanted to have their, their graduation at a mega church. Yeah. They couldn't do it. They had it shut down. The, the, they were not allowed to have a, a graduation. I mean, there was not going to be any pr kind of prayer worship going on in the church. But because it was considered a church building, Christian church building, mind you, the ACLU got involved. The whole town was in uproar. People were protesting, saying, I don't want you know this graduation happening in this building. Because it's designated as a Christian church. As a church. <clears throat> Then on top of that, we have, when they were talking about proselytizing little children, well, the U.S. government is burning holy, hold the Holy Bible over in Afghanistan and Iraq that missionaries sent to our soldiers because it was in the um, Arab language and they were afraid that our U.S. soldiers were going to be trying to proselytize the Muslims. And so they forced our U.S. soldiers to burn the Bibles with their trash and they considered it trash so this is deep this is dangerous and then we keep saying we need to tolerate we need to tolerate how are you supposed to tolerate things like this I mean what they did, said they were going to do and what they did was a lie mm -hmm. there was no them being shown around about the architecture there was it, it was them sitting down being sat down and taught about Islam it was an entire lesson about Islam, and then they participated. Yeah, I have to interrupt Miranda real quick. Okay. Breaking news 10 minutes ago. U.S. Airways Flight 432, Phoenix, Maui, safely diverts to San Francisco after smoke was reported in the cockpit. So anyone that is on that flight, looks like they're going to be safe now. It's probably just a mechanical error, so that's what's going on. Also about five hours ago, breaking news, 6.3 earthquake in Hindu Kush Afghanistan and BP is pumping cement to permanently seal the blown out well in the Gulf of Mexico so there's a lot of stuff going on yeah. and then Carl the hurricane is downgraded to a tropical storm and so that's pretty much stuff going on also rockets hit Kabul as Afghans prepare for the vault so there's a lot of stuff you guys want to pray about Afghanistan but my um, whole thing is they keep saying Islam is such a peaceful religion but yet they're bombing each other they're I mean they're not just killing uh, other people but mostly they're killing themselves and each other their own people their own and um 
I, I don't understand how the, how they keep saying it's a peaceful religion. They keep pushing that peaceful. I'm like, if if that's peaceful, I'd hate to see what you know, you know what uh what they consider horrible, you mm -hmm. know, or deadly religion. I really hate to see that. But um, yeah, I I really wanted to just say a little bit about that because I didn't know if you would remember um, all the past things that have been happening. Uh, you know, people protesting against churches not being able, you know, the schools and burning Bibles and stuff like that. And then we have children going, being proselytized into Islam right here in America. Oh, yeah. There, and it's there, against, there's it a... is against, well, they say it's against the, you know, the law to, you know, separation of church and state. I, I don't understand. I mean, I know that in America we have not really talked a lot about Islam in schools for any reason so there is a balance but participate i mean christians don't force people to participate in prayer if someone came to observe they say just sit right where you're at and you can watch what we're doing if you want i mean i wouldn't tell half like the little boys well you can't come over here and and pray to jesus because um you know da -da -da. and i wouldn't say little girls you have to go over here because you're not as good as the boys. The boys are more important to, to you know, Jesus or whatever. I mean, Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto me. Mm -hmm. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I mean, that's, that, that's like total night and day right there, you know. Yeah, it's getting really, really nuts as far as I'm concerned. Um, and more and more of these... Um, uh, stories are coming about being exposed about them stoning women. There was just that story in the paper or in, in the news recently about the fight to save this woman from being stoned because she was raped, or she, she, her husband had died and she was a widow. But somehow I don't know the whole story, but somehow she, they say she ended up having adult committing adultery, and they were going to stone her, and it got in the news, and this woman now is has been saved, but. Think about how many other women are being killed and stoned and their heads are chopped off just because someone said, well, you did that. Yeah. Now, speaking about things getting burned, uh, and I'm waiting for this to pull up, Tampa Bay Online, Gainesville, Florida, security for last Saturday's canceled Quran burning was over $200,000. And they expect the church that organized the event to pay. Police Major Rick Hanna said over 200 officers were on duty last weekend patrolling the Dove World Outreach Center where the burning is supposed to take place, as well as the University of Florida football game and soft targets such as a mall. Okay, wait Another a 160 sheriff deputies were working, and the Gainesville City Manager Russ Blackburn says he doesn't know whether the city has legal authority to allow make the church pay. But we all know that Pastor Terry Jones canceled the burning. Yeah. And, if he, uh, it, it never happened. So how can you charge somebody for something? I can understand charging him, you know, if th this would have happened. But it never happened. Th this is crazy. I mean, there's so that, no grounds. So that's one of the bigger things going on here. And I think it's really crazy. Um, I don't understand as to why people continue to move like this other than the sinful nature you know there's no logical solution for this and when it comes down to no logical solution we already know that the devil has a plan to infiltrate children and everyone as much as possible because if he can they say uh, Christians say that if you can catch someone from the ages of 5 to 15 and get them rooted in some form of religion that's what they're going to be yes. 15 to 25 <clears throat> they make a decision if they're going to follow that or not if you train a child from day one when they're born if you expose them to abuse and violence and and th that kind of malicious behavior uh, you know an abusive you know lifestyle they're going to end up becoming normally they say they will become abusive yeah. violent malicious and mm -hmm. I have experienced that personally with my ex-husband. He he was abused. His his father was very mean and violent, and he he did clearly become that, and even worse. So I mean, where why are we teaching? Why aren't we teaching children morals and values? And why aren't the why aren't the schools teaching them their math and 
they're reading and they're writing. What? What? Why are we trying to take them out and say, well, you need to learn that for tolerance? And I'm like, teach it in the classroom first. So. All right. When we return, I'll have about removing of the Christian flag and, and more. We'll be right back. <laughs> 